flexing, yeah. Cause I just checked my bank account and I'm good. I'm flexing, yeah. Cause my singles going off in my hood. I'm flexing, yeah. Everywhere I go, you know it's all love. I'm flexing. Yo, what's good, Crazy Nation? It's your boy, it's the crazy. You know what it is? I'm back again with another reaction. This is to Triple S's ninth subunit visionary vision. Hit the floor. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. You know what's interesting, Majo? We didn't count this group as one of the ones to watch out for. For the comebacks. And I'm listening to this already and I'm going, oh my god. This is scaring the shit out of me for my top 50 list already. <laughs> okay, near? Wow, so this is a lesson quicken how do I less quicker version of I wouldn't say it's the same, but the beat sounds like siren. That ba that bass. Sorry, not the beat, the bass sounds like siren, sorry. I don't mind it though, I like it. Okay, now go. Oh my god! <laughs> that How the fuck have they done this? It's like a hip hop version. It's like hip hop mixed with da obviously dance. But um you know like turn down for what? That type of beat? Techno? Is that techno? EDM, I can't remember what turned down for what what type of beat that is. You know what I'm talking about? It has that similarity of that. Ding, 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 ding. I like it. It has that mixed with with that siren bass, which is sick. I love that. Hit the blow. Oh, I like this song a lot. Oh, you know what I like? The attitude that they have when it comes to performing. Like, everything that I've heard from Triple S seems like it suits them. Every subunit, every... Do you know what I mean, Majo? Like, ne Girls Never Die, Rising... Evolution, like I know they're all different, like some are subunits, some of the groups all together. But it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing watching a group like this. But this is new. Oh yeah, this this is different. This is a different vibe, which I you know when I read what I read about the group, you know how I, when I was looking up the members, it said that genre. 
that they're like targeting for, I was like, ooh, interesting because it was more about a dance dance performance group, which I was like, oh, okay, mad. And you can hear it with this type of music. <laughs> you, with this type of music, you see, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it is more heavily da danced, which is sick. I liked it. I'm keen to see like a uh, like perform a live performance of this song though, because I want to see if they still carry that same attitude that they have in the music video for the song. You know what I mean, Majo? It's like how we've reacted to Bad Villain and stuff like that, and I was like, wait, but can they can they carry that energy that they have from the from the vocals in the in the how do I say this in the song to the to the stage? Because sometimes that doesn't happen. But from what I've seen with Triple S, I'm pretty sure they, they're one of the few groups I've seen that can do it really well. Which is interesting. Nice, got on Vocals. Nice <laughs> That's a great line. Sometimes even blood and tears betray me. like about this song is that even though it has those sounds of like siren um turn down turn down for what yeah turn down for what it still sounds refreshing if you get what i mean it has a mixture of like different sounds but when you put it all together the way that they have it's fucking amazing it's such an interesting sound. I find it intriguing. I don't think I've heard a song like this. Because they're really good at making hard-hitting songs. I feel like Triple S with some of the songs that I've heard. It's hard-hitting mixed with vocals and harmonies. The, like the mixing, the mastering of these songs must be so fucking complicated. But they always do it right. No, none of the parts of what I'm talking about is overpowering to ruin the song. Do you know what I mean by that, Majo? Like, they never overpower the song or overpower the artist. Honestly, this is, to me, one of their most impressive songs that I've heard. Like you said as well, no la la la. None of that in this song. Just straight, nice dancing, nice choreo, hard hitting um, verses, a great chorus that is really catchy with a great beat as well. Fair play, fair play to this group. They smashed it. This subject. <laughs> Ooh. 
wow. That is intriguing. This is the thing that always catches my eye. The idol of all possibilities. That is such a scary tagline to have. Catchphrase to have. You know what I mean? It's like... This is only just the beginning of this group. What do you think, Majo? I feel like this is one of their best subunits. Hon honestly, this group, this subunit impressed me massively. It, it, they gave me the same, um, they gave me the same feeling that, um, was it Evolution? The one that I was like, what the fuck is this? The most interesting sound. 100%. They have one of the most interesting sound for sure. I'm not sure if it was Evolution or Love Evolution. One of them. I remember I was just. I fell in love with the sound. And I was like. I was. Oh, it was Evolution. It was Evolution. Okay, okay. It was Evolution. Um, that, But this group and Evolution to me have the most interesting sound. Out of all of the subunits that I've heard. Because it's very different. Very, very different. The amount of diversity Triple S has showcased in less than two years is spectacular. And they don't and they don't get enough credit. Well, to be fair, when you have this many members, I'm pretty sure you can show this much diversity, right? Am I nuts for saying that? Like when you have this many members, I would say it's easier to be more diverse. No? When you have how many fucking members do they have now? 24? <laughs> like, I think that's why they have. I said this when I saw how many members they had. This is why they're doing it. In my opinion, this is why they have so many members. Is so then they can be diverse as they want. They can go to any fucking sound. The subunits could have subunits. 100%. This subunit could have a subunit. How many members was it again? Imagine 12, right? Is that what you, you said that to me, right? Was it 12? 12 members, bro. Like, fuck. Like, that's crazy. That's a lot of members, man. That's a lot of members for a normal group. Yet alone a subunit. I, I like it. This... Yeah, this is what this is what I I caught from what it said. It's the this is it said that it's the eighth subunit. But anyway, and the and the first dance oriented orient orientated group. This is what they call the group, Major. It's more dance orientated, which that caught my eye. I was like, ooh, interesting. And then when I heard this song, I was like, okay, I can see it. You know what I mean? I heard this song and I was like, okay, yeah. Like, first when I heard, the first second I heard, I was like, okay, yeah, this is more dance orientated. You can tell through the way that the, the bass, everything about that song is more that type of feeling, which is awesome. I like it. I'm intrigued by this group a lot. Very intrigued. I like the song. I really like the song. I like the song a lot. The grammar is not grammaring in that article, but makes sense, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. I, like I said, I like this group a lot. Honestly, this song hit me like a ton of bricks. I don't know if you feel the same way, Magic, but that's how I feel. This song caught me off guard. I was like, oh. Wow, if this is the type of music they're going to make, I am intrigued. Because what I could hear from this group is they can do even soft music as well. Because they have Yubin and um and Night. There's certain members where I'm like, okay, they, they're good enough singers that you can make soft music as well. And plus, with a dance-orientated orient, group, 
you don't even just need to make it doesn't just need to be hip hop you know what i mean it can be any type of genre which is very interesting anyway i want to rewind this cuz i actually really like this song a lot i want to play it again i really like this song i reckon it's mad this caught me in the I love this all black that they've been wearing. They're like fucking Wu Tang of they're like the Wu Tang of fucking girl groups. Triple S. They wear black all black. Just, when it when it comes to dancing, it's all black. Doesn't matter. I was just like, fuck, man, it's sick. I like the visuals too. The visuals have for shot great. This limb. This. I like. I like how that's like a calm before the storm. You know what I mean? Like a calm before the chorus. It's like. Ah, right, let's slow it down, and let's let's build it, and then it starts to build up. I love that too. The open your eyes. You hear the build up? Oh, it's so good. I think this has made my top fifty, Major. I like the hit the flow, hit the flow, 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 flow. I like the way that's used. It's catchy as fuck. The person that caught me, caught my attention the most in this song is honestly Kotone. I was like, oh wow, she left, um, I'm gonna, you know those, you know those times, Magic, where I'm like, I'm gonna remember this idol now? You know what I mean? You know how that always happens to me? For me, this song specifically, I'm like, I'm gonna remember Kotone. Like, it, she really stands out in this song. <laughs> This is great, this part as Lin's another one. Lin has left a fucking impact to me. I was like, oh, damn, okay. This is such a good song. This is a bridge, right? You'll be I like this bridge. I'm not gonna lie, Majo. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This is one of, I actually think this isn't just one of my favorite subunit songs. I think this is one of my favorite Triple S's songs from the songs that I've heard. I like this song a lot. I like how different how different it is to the rest. I was not expecting a song like this by a Triple S subunit. And I feel like this year specifically, the songs that catch me off guard the most make my like have been making my top fifty. 
Well, my like, what the hell? Like this, this is just undeniable. It's like what? This is a crazy song. I love it. I love what this song has. To me, this song has the mixture of everything, and this song could have gone so wrong. Is the thing to me. Feels as if they went off script. First song that they pushed their sound in a really novel direction. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But do you know what I noticed as well, Madja? Do you agree with me with that? This song could have gone wrong. Very wrong. Because the thing with this song is it's very chaotic. Very chaotic. But they found a way to mix it perfectly and blend it perfectly that it's not chaotic at all. Do you know what I mean? It's so many sounds in one genre, in one genre, in one song. This could have gone horribly wrong and it didn't. That's where I'm giving it such a high praise. Add some, add some layers and less control over the structure. Ouch. <laughs> oh, la la. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very interesting. Because not only that, I feel like this is the first time that, this is not the first time that we've seen them, um, what's the word, not play it safe. Because we felt the same way about, Invincible. When we heard Invincible, we're like, what the fuck is this? That's my that was my reaction when I heard Invincible. I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, no one, no one's making the music that they're making. And that's very intriguing to me. They've found a way to find their own lane. And what I like is, is that they're keeping the fans on their toes. We don't know what we're going to get next from them. And that interests me a lot, especially as a reactor. As a reactor, I'm like, ooh, fascinating. Fascinating. Like, this group is keeping me on my toes and gets me excited for every comeback. And obviously, this is their first, like, as this group, visionary vision but i'm i'm talking about when it comes to all of triple s i'm not just talking about their subunits i'm talking about all of it together their subunits and their um them as a group i've noticed that their music has always been very different like it has switches to it where you're like oh okay nice like it's not always simple if you know what i mean or sometimes it can be overcomplicated, which is amazing. Sometimes you have to make music like that. But yeah, I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued in this group. So I'm going to have to keep an eye out for more. Obviously, I think they dropped an album, right? So if that's the case, I want to check that out for sure. Because I want to hear the rest <laughs> already. To be fair, I think this might be the first one that, like, I might listen to, like, the full album. Or is it just the song? If it's just the song, that's fine. No, it's a full album. It's a mini album. No, fuck, it's a full album. Jesus Christ, it's ten songs. Interesting. So they have Visual Virtue, Tune, Eclair, Love Soul, Atmosphere VV version. 12 Rings, Vision, Bionic Power, and they have a song. They have a song, the last song, Visionary Vision. Cool. I'm excited. So that's intro and outro, yeah. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm going to have to check them out for sure. But yeah, man, that's all i got to say. So if you like this, give this a thumbs up. None of that. Comment if you want to see more. Subscribe. And remember, keep living a crazy life and stay blessed. Peace. Laters. Ah, whoop. Later.